Hi, Miria Ginger here. Today we are doing a live Waldorf math lesson for grade one. The number is 12. So Rose Red is here and so is Snow White. Ah, why do I have two? <laughs> Rose Red is standing tall and so is Snow White. And I'm gonna switch to a different color. I'm gonna switch to orange. And they meet a man. And he says, welcome. I'm doing my yoga pose. I'm doing the butterfly pose. And then he takes them to a door. And they go through the doorway. Number two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, number two. And then through the doorway, they meet the family. And this family is doing the butterfly yoga pose together. And we've got our dad and our mom and our teenager and they're all doing yoga together mm -hmm. and they said here have some carrots please take the carrots to our horse with Leica and for the for okay so it's like it's kind of like an N but it's more like a one uh -huh. and a V uh -huh. all right I know okay I know the camera likes you too. <laughs> so they go and they feed the horse the carrots. Right? Mm -hmm. Yum. And then night starts to fall. And the first star that comes out. Is the six pointed? No, it's the five pointed because five comes before six. So the first star is five. And then the second star that comes out is the six-pointed star. And then they get a little bit of a rain. Some little rain comes out and then the sky starts to lighten because morning is coming. And what do we get next? A rainbow. A rainbow, exactly. So how many colors does a rainbow have? Seven colors. And then they're continuing on their journey. Snow White and her sister Rose Red are continuing on their journey. And what do they come upon next? That has eight legs. A, a spider web. A spider and a spider web, right? Mm -hmm. So then they push through. They push through the spider web and they come across another man. And he is doing the butterfly yoga pose too. And what does he give them? A mat. Yes. He gives Snow White and Rose Red a map because X marks the spot. Okay, so then what happens next? They have to look at the map, right? If you're really a pirate, you could pretend that you're, you're, you're beginning for gold. Yeah, well you have to find the X first. And what's surrounding the X on the map? Ten. Yes, 10 rocks. So we've got 10 rocks all around our X. And then, what happened next? Next <laughs> is X. There is an X in next, absolutely. Next is X. So they end up finding the X and it's next to a tree, remember? Mm -hmm. So they take their map and there's the tree next to it. And now we're on our last number. So what do you think could be the last number? What comes after 11? So guess what? They get their shovels out, Snow White and Rose Red. They get their shovels out and they start digging and digging and digging. And they 
found their ex. Alright, so here, this is 12. So we've got 10 and 1 and 1. So that's 12. And now we've got to put the treasure. What do you think the treasure is? Gold. Gold. All right, so let's get some gold out. <laughs> we can make gold coins. Yeah. We can make gold rings. Or gold rocks even. Yes, gold nuggets. Those are called gold nuggets, gold rocks. So we want 12 pieces of gold, okay? Or silver and jewels. I think I'm going to make a sapphire because the treasure could be a lots sapphire. of different things. Mm -hmm. I'm going to make a golden sapphire. Ooh, that's probably a topaz. A golden sapphire is probably a topaz. And I'm going to make a ruby. Or even a golden triangle. And now an emerald. A big emerald. And I've got, so far I have six, so I've got six more to go, okay? Let's see, what else can I do? Oh, I could do a necklace, maybe a chain, a gold chain. And maybe, let's see, hmm, a silver chain. There's a diamond. What else? I made a diamond. Ooh. Maybe there's a crown. Ooh, what about a nice gold crown? Maybe on the crown there are some jewels, like an emerald in the middle, hey, and I a was, ruby. I was on top of these, I put a little golden jewels on top. Ooh, like that? Uh-huh. Awesome. Like so maybe we've got a crown. Gotta do two more. I'm gonna do a couple more rings. But these ones I'm gonna put jewels on. Put a diamond on one. Maybe do a ruby on another one. Oh, I think you did a little more than 12, but that's cool. You made a big treasure. I'm, I'm, I want the camera to see what I... Oh. All right, I do need you to flip it over because we have to write the word 12. And then we also have to write the Arabic number 12. So let's go ahead and I 
guess I'll have to take a still of that somehow, because I forgot to take a picture of it. Oh, oh, well. oh well. You'll have to draw it again. Oh, I don't think I'm going to draw them again. <laughs> we'll see. All right. So, we've got to write the number 12. 12, 12, 12. Yeah. What do you think that twa sound is? A T. And? Do you know what letter that is? No. Oh, I'm sorry. It's kind of wet. A W? Yes. You got it. It's like two U's make a W. All right, well, it makes the eh, eh, eh sound. Mm. Very good. And ooh. L. And V. V. And then we add a silent E. Silent E. Twelve. And that's how you write twelve. Don't erase yet. Hmm? Don't erase yet. I'm not going to erase. I'm just cleaning the chalk off my fingers. <laughs> and then the Arabic representation is a one and a two. Beautiful. What else do we need to write? That's it. Well, we could write the, uh, the Roman numeral again, which would be X. One, one, and that's twelve. One, one. And that's it. Can you put them in piles? Let's see what kind of piles you can make. Okay, so. Okay, it's an even number. All right, so we found out that it's even. Let's write that up here, even. Okay, and how many? We've got two piles, so let's put a two up here. And how many are in each pile? One, two, three, four, five, six. There are six, so that would be two times six. All right, so that's going to equal 12 because we already know that we have 12 sticks. Okay, now let's try it into different piles, okay? okay. So, like, let's do this. I'm going to do three piles this time. Still even, Finn. Yep, it's always going to say an even number. So we've got three piles. So three times. And how many per pile? Four. Four. So three times four equals twelve. That's supposed to be a two. Oh, I need chalk. I didn't buy chalk. Okay, let's see. Can you make any more piles? Okay, of course I can. One, two, three, four. I can do four piles. So there's three in each pile. All right, so we've got four times three equals 12. <laughs> Look what I did. <laughs> with one, a one, then an X. Yeah, you made 11 or a nine. I can't tell, it depends which way you're looking at it. <laughs> All right, let's see. Can you make another set of piles? Yep. Just scoop these out a lot. One, two, three, 
four, five. It doesn't divide evenly, does it? So we can't do five, otherwise we'd have a fraction of a number. We don't have any whole numbers, so we can't do five. Let's try, try six piles. Six times two equals twelve. Because we already know this. Right, two is all squiggly. Yeah, so two times six equals twelve, but six times two also equals twelve. It equals the same result. Mm -hmm. Isn't that neat? Mm -hmm. Let me try seven. All right, One, see if you can do seven. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nope. Nope, you can't do seven. <gasps> no. Nope, can't do that one. What was that? Nine or eight? No, it was higher than seven. Eight. So that's as high as we can go. All right. Well, actually, there's one more left. What if each stick is it's in its own pile? Oh. Then we could do twelve times one equals twelve. <laughs> You're going to make a circle around yourself? That's so I fun. I can't get out. Oh, I can't get out. <laughs> so why do you think 12 is the king of all numbers? Well, let's add one more stick to see. All right, so now we have 13 sticks, because 13 comes after 12. And do you want to try to divide 13 into piles for me? Mm, no. No? Okay, you've had a little bit too much math. Well, I'm going to show you. Well, do you think that 13 is odd or even? Even. It's not. It's oh, odd. God. 13 is odd. And you know why? We were talking a little bit about prime numbers. 13 is a prime number, so that it can only be divisible by one. Unlike 12, which can be divisible in all these different ways. 